Good evening, I'm weather forecaster Noah Gordon for Newslink Weather. Very sunny but cold day outside today, um, but if we take a look at our current temperatures around the area, here we can see most places still in the upper 30s though, 38 in Muncie, 36 in Indianapolis, 38 in Terre Haute. Uh, warmer the further southwest you get, see 48 still in St. Louis, um, but really that cold air is just sort of entrenched in our area right now, uh, really causing us problems. But looking at our almanac for today, we can really see here, uh, today's high about average for this time of year here, average high of 37, today's high only 38, um, obviously nowhere near a record high of 63 in 2020. I'm I'm sure a lot of people would rather have a 63 degree day today. Um, but looking ahead at the next 12 hours, we can see here sort of our, our, our temperatures sort of crawl back down into the low 20s as we get towards the, you know, sort of the doldrums of the evening. Um, only 20 degrees at 4 a.m. here. And that's really going to be our low for tonight. See, it's going to be part, partly cloudy, a low of 20. Uh, winds are still going to be out of the northwest at 10 to 15 miles an hour and are just going to make it feel way colder than it really is. Um, just going to be something where if you're headed out, you need to bundle up, you know, grab the coat, grab the gloves. Uh, especially if you're headed anywhere um, and it's really only going to get worse as we head into tomorrow morning especially the morning commute see right now here uh, you know 10 degrees feels like in Muncie uh, feels like 11 in Indianapolis um, so really still cold right now but it's really just going to get worse and worse um, if we get colder. Uh, looking at tomorrow morning, especially 7 a.m., this is the heart of the morning commute. Uh, a lot of places going to feel like they're below zero. You know, uh, negative two degrees feels like in Muncie, negative four degrees in Indianapolis. So if you're getting up to go anywhere tomorrow morning, uh, you want to just, you know, take it slow. You want to uh, make sure and get out and make sure the car's running and, and make sure you're, you're, up, you're prepared for the, the cold weather out there tomorrow morning. Uh, but it's really not going to get much better throughout the day here. We see by the evening hours only up to a feels like of six in Muncie, 12 in Indianapolis. A lot of places are just going to struggle to get out of the single digits tomorrow morning in terms of the, the feel like temperature. Um, but even into Saturday here, uh, still just going to be another cold day Saturday morning too. So just really stuck in this sort of frigid wind chill um, that's just going to sort of bury us in cold for the next couple days. But tomorrow, uh, going to be a little less sunny, uh, high of 23. Uh, winds are going to be out of the northwest uh, a, a bit stronger, 15 miles an hour gusting up to 20. Just going to be another one of those very cold, bitter winter days. Um, but this really isn't going to last long because uh, today, even in a, uh, up in uh, Philly, uh, you see here uh, the Puxatoni Phil here uh, saw his shadow this morning, so uh, he predicts six more weeks of winter. Um, but really, though, if we look at our climactic data here, kind of a different story, though, because we can see here, uh, especially for our six to ten day temp outlook, um, February 7th through the 11th, especially across the eastern United States here, we see a lot of places projected to be well above average in terms of temperatures, and below average as you head out towards the west coast. But very much going to be interesting to see here whether, uh, you know, Pucks of Tony Phil is right or not, um, definitely going to be something to watch over the upcoming weeks. Um, but looking at our seven day forecast here, uh, we can see cold temperatures sort of entrenched as we head into the weekend. Um, but as we go towards the end of the week, a sort of a warm up as we head into Monday and Tuesday may even hit 50 on, on Tuesday before rain and showers sort of dampen our, our expectations as we head further into work week. For more information, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at NLI Weather.